All right, so I just wanted to walk you through um, the sections to this song really slowly. So this is all standard tuning. You don't need to do any special tuning or anything. Um, so the intro and verse, um, here's what I've got for that. simple and you don't need to play any bar chords or anything like that so what you're gonna do is start with your thumb on the A string and then you're gonna because um, we got to do some finger picking you could probably try this with a pick if you want you just have to you know jump around back and forth with the pick but I'm gonna use finger picking so I'll show you how to do that so your thumb starts on the A string mm -hmm. then you're gonna set your index finger on the second fret of the G middle finger second fret of the B So you're going to pluck with your thumb on the A, index on G, middle finger on B, then back to index on G. Alright, now for the next chord, I thought this was going to be the easiest way for a beginner to do it, is you reach your ring finger up here to that third fret of the low E, and then your thumb jumps up to the low E. Now, if you can get your thumb over the top to grab se second fret, you can do that. Or you don't have to do that. You're, you're here, right? You can hop your index finger up to second fret and then take over with your middle finger on the second fret of the G ring finger, second fret of the B. So let's just walk that real fast. So we've got. And you could go. Or you could go. Like I did in the intro. Okay. All right. And then the next chord, um, you're going to set your index finger here, first fret of the low E. And this one was a little bit trickier, but not too bad. You're going to set your ring finger here, second fret of the G, and your middle finger way back here on that first fret of the high E. So you've got. So what I'm doing there is again thumb on E, index finger on G, but now I'm using my ring finger to get that high E. So you have to remember that you're going to your ring finger for the high E instead of your middle finger for the B, as you had done for the previous chords. So here's what we got. All right. So I think it's every fourth time he goes through that progression that you'll hear this. So you hear a different high note on that second fret chord. So what that is, I'll show you just real quick. Um, index finger, second fret of the E, middle finger, second fret of the G. So those are the same as they would have been for just playing through the first three times. But then your ring finger sets down here, here on the second fret of the high E. So you're going to do that same strategy where you do thumb, index, ring finger. And then you do thumb, index, ring finger for those. All right? <laughs> so I think that's every fourth time. So whenever you hear that, You'll hear that high note in there. Just remember to go to that, okay? Um, go to that. All right, so that covers the verses. All right, now, uh, I think it's post first verse or post first chorus. You're going to hear something that sounds like this. something 
kind of like that. Now, since he's detuned, um, your notes aren't going to your your bass notes aren't going to sound exactly the same, but they're still going to be correct. So, what I was doing was just setting uh, middle finger down, second fret of G, ring finger, second fret of B, and you're plucking from the A. Set your index finger second fret of A, and then thumb jumps down to D. And then here, you might actually want to switch so that you can get that reach to third fret of low E, like the intro. back to the D and then I think there's a pause break for a second all right so looking at that whole piece again we've got then you might want to switch so you can do the walk pause break all right so then that's that little thing after the the first verse chorus or whatever I think it might just be verse um, so now towards the end of the song you will hear some strumming you'll hear you'll hear uh, let's see you'll hear So I'm pretty sure that's what the strum pattern is. Um, so we're just starting on an A chord, index finger, second fret of D, middle finger, second fret of G, ring finger, second fret of B. And I'm just doing down, down, up, up, down. And I'm just using my fingernails. Down, down, up, up, down. Then you hop your index finger up one string to second fret of the A. go up to a D chord so now index finger jumps down to second fret of G middle finger second fret of high E ring finger third fret of B and now you got to play a D minor so middle finger jumps up to second fret of G index finger way back here first fret of high E all right so we got So I hope that was helpful for you. That should cover all the sections. Go ahead, hit the like button on your way out. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.